afternoon everyone let me just make sure it's recording make sure I'm on the right slide all right there we go all right my name is Angel Del Quetzal Guerra and today I'm going to be talking about the five colleges that I chose for this presentation the five colleges that I chose for this presentation is Luigi Pufazali I chose Luigi because I liked his name and I found that he was Italian and I also want to get to know more about why he was an important phycologist. All right, on to the next one. Okay, on this slide, I'm going to be talking about his early life, which takes place in Italy. Um, Luigi Profizzali was an Italian phycologist and biologist. He was born in Busto, Arcesio, Italy. Uh, he was born in the year 1908. Um, when he was a young man, he attended the University of Milan, where he graduated in the year of 1931. And he went back to get his PhD in zoology in the year of 1939. His research in Milan was mainly on pests, silkworms, and flagellates. <clears throat> when World War II broke out, um, he moved from Italy to New York which basically started off his chapter in psychology in the United States. In this slide to the right, I have a picture of Italy, which shows a lot of the cities. And uh, one of the cities I was talking about was Milan, where he went to the University of Milan. Okay, on to the next slide. Give me one moment. There we go. All right. My next slide, we're going to be talking about the years after he left Italy, getting to the United States. Um, so when he got to New York, he started at St. Francis College, where he was appointed to be the chairman of biology because he was very knowledgeable and had a lot of uh, knowledge on the subject and had a lot of experience with it. He was, his main focus in research was Euglena, and after that, he took part of a, a Haskins Laboratories, which was a nonprofit organization which looked at the fundamental scientific investigation and education areas which needed more than one research discipline. Um, in Haskins Laboratory, he helped look into algae, protozoans, and invertebrates. <clears throat> He also did a time. He also taught at Yale University for a time period, which was from 1970 to when he retired in 1987. In the top right corner of the slide, you can see a picture of Yale University in its present, and below that, you can also see an image of St. Francis College in its present. Both of these institutions are places that he had an impact with his research and knowledge on psychology. Going to the next slide. One moment. Why is doing this? There we go. All right, my next slide. I'm going to be talking about things he studied and also some of his achievements. Um, some things that he studied were he studied with shrimp art artenia. He studied the bacterial influence on algae morphogenesis. He also made culture media for aquatic bugs, which aquatic bugs he did research a lot. Um, he was the founding editor of the Journal of Phycology, which he wrote 80 articles and reviews of insects and pests nutrition of and ecology of protozoa and crustacea and the genes and growth of algae. Um, he received the Gilbert Morgan Smith Award, which is from the National Academy of Sciences, and this award recognizes published research on marine or freshwater algae. He also has a award named after him, which is given by the Phycology Society of America. They gave this award out 
to outstanding papers published in the Journal of Phycology. In the picture to the right, we have an image of freshwater ecology. This is something that he studied for a long time and was very knowledgeable on. Something else that he did was he helped advise the U.S. government on oil spills and also the ocean. Okay, on to my final slide. There we go. All right. Luigi Provisoli passed away in 1992 in his, in his home of Italy at the age of 84, and he died due to a heart attack. I feel like overall, I learned a lot about Luigi Profizzoli, and I got to find out some of the things that I wanted to find out when doing research about him. But for some reason, there isn't a lot online about him. Well, there is, but not like going into depth about his research and some of the things that he might have did. But overall, I had a fun time doing this um, presentation and research project. Thank you guys for your time, and that's the end.